Preventative maintenance plays a huge role in hammer longevity and workplace safety, but proper hammer operation is also crucial. Follow these precautions when using any hydraulic hammer. Do not operate the hammer without an impact-resistant cab window or shield in place. Do not use the hammer as a hoist. The hammer is not intended to lift objects. To do so can be dangerous. Do not slant hammer. Slant hammering creates binding between the tool and tool bushings. Binding causes premature bushing wear and or tool breakage, decreased energy transfer, and tie rod breakage. Do not use the hammer as a pry bar. Excessive prying can cause bushing wear, tie rod breakage, and tool breakage. Do not hammer more than 30 seconds in the same location. Excessive hammering in the same location will overheat the tool, causing tool failure, and transfer the excessive heat through the tool into the hammer, causing seal failures and overheating the hydraulic oil. Do not use the hammer in a sweeping motion. Moving large objects with the hammer may damage the hammer bracket or carrier. Do not allow the hammer tool to hit the boom. Use caution when tucking the hammer in tight to the boom for transportation. Do not operate the hammer underwater unless it has been modified with an underwater kit. Operating the hammer underwater will damage the hammer and allow water to enter the hydraulic system. Do not operate the hammer with hydraulic cylinders at end of stroke. Operating the hammer with the hydraulic cylinders fully retracted or extended may damage the cylinders. Do not drop the hammer on an object. Dropping the hammer can cause tool breakage, hammer bracket damage, or damage to the hammer. Do not touch hot tool after using. Touching a hot tool can cause severe burns. Do not submerge a hot tool in water. Submerging a hot tool in water can cause the tip of the tool to become brittle and break prematurely. Avoid blank hammering. Blank hammering can cause retaining pin breakage, tool breakage, and tie rod breakage. Do not hard face or sharpen the tool point with a cutting torch. Machine sharpen only. Install all warning and safety decals in operator's cab. Place hammer operator's manual in the cab. Position the tip of the demolition tool vertically on the object to be broken and apply downforce on the tool before starting to hammer. Always work by breaking to an open face. The material must have somewhere to break to. Start at an edge. Grease the hammer tool bushings hourly, or if an auto lube system is installed, be sure it is functioning properly. Thank you for tuning into this video about proper hammer operation. Please check out one of our other service instructionals.